Hey guys, today we're going to talk about American Family Insurance and whether it's worth it to do insurance with them. I've got some pretty good stuff to talk about and then we're going to go through their website and I'll show you the ease of use of it. Um, also give you my recommendation on whether a good company or not. I guess this is kind of a search to find out what's the best company for you and, and where's the best place to put your money as far as your insurance goes. Now, I personally actually have been with them before. Uh, as a kid, it was actually my parents that were insured with them. And so I have tiny, tiny bit of experience with them directly. Uh, you know, as a kid, you just don't care. I just remember hearing the name, seeing the paperwork, and my parents kind of loved them for a little while. I think they were only with them for a year or so. So I think the prices kind of got out of hand. Before we get into it, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about me. So I am a licensed insurance agent. I currently insure uh, 21 states now. I've been licensed in like 45 or more states uh, with my last company that I worked for. And I just have a lot of knowledge. I've been doing this almost 10 years. Uh, so this is kind of like a give back I guess I, I have to the industry is to teach you how to be smart about your insurance so you can save money and get the best coverage that you need. Please ignore my my dog in the background, if you hear the little jingling, it's her, uh, <laughs> it's, it's her collar. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. So I'm right on their main page, American Family Insurance, and it's actually a really easy site to go through, and I think this is partially why, uh, you know, apart from the company itself, fairly why they're kind of successful online just because they are listed as an ease to use company so they're easy to get online you can click on what type of products you want so if you want auto home life renters business farm umbrella they do a lot of different things the main focus i think is going to be the auto and the home i'm assuming that's their biggest portion of the business and then with a lot of the younger generation not buying houses i think renters is a, is a big thing that being said let's just click on the auto and let's just take a quick look at what the auto has to offer there's really nothing i mean we literally can stop the video there if that's what you're looking for they're a basic company there's nothing super special about them they're Pretty much they go over everything else everybody covers, car damage, liability, premiums, full coverage, what is it? They have a cool little facts section so you can just answer questions. How do I get a quote? Oh, go here or, or call here. You know, what's full coverage? What's a deductible? So kind of a nice thing to see. It's got some nice like laid out stuff. If you are interested in those, there is a, a video that I recently did that would give you some advice. I'll try to link that up here. And then they just dive into the biggest thing, which is these testing the drive system. So drive safer, save more with your drive. It's basically a tracking device. Pretty much everyone's doing this nowadays because they just, they have to find a way that the younger generation can get into these middle line to higher line companies because the parents are with them. So the problem that we're seeing now is mom and dad is is what everybody wants, right? We want the 50 year old and the and the 60 year old. Once you kind of get into the 70, 75 plus, it kind of goes the opposite where they're just looking anywhere from 35 to about 65 is the perfect range. The issue is that age range has kids. And they had a lot of kids. And so like 25% of the population is 15 or, old, or younger in the U.S. So that's becoming a very large impact. And when you add that 16-year-old onto your policy, it makes a huge difference, especially when, when you're with these companies that are looking for family insurance, right? Their idea of family wasn't three kids driving. It was mom and dad, maybe a kid usually didn't drive. And if the kid was 25 or older, they were happy because the risk was low. Well, now it's changing because the risk is very high. So you're going to see a lot of this stuff. You're going to see these test driving devices and everything everywhere. AAA does it. Safeco does it. Liberty Mutual does it. Allstate does it. Everybody, literally every company I've seen offers this. There's even a root insurance now that only does that first and then test drives you and then agrees or disagrees you're, you're insurable with them. So there's a lot of different things going on and that's really the reason you're seeing a big emphasis on this, this whole testing your driving system give you a discount. It's because adding that driver is a huge increase and they don't want to lose your business. That's just the honesty of it. That's great. Going back to the main page here, I didn't see anything super great about it it's not like uh, citizens insurance where you can add you know endorsements platinum insurance where you can get the rental car the loss of use covered if you're in an accident and you can get all these extra benefits I don't see the AAA version where you can get some sort of membership and you can actually get uh, better towing and stuff like that so there's nothing specific that stood out to me that would entice me to 
choose them over another company that was cheaper. That being said, going back and digging into the home insurance, this is where I think they really lost the edge on other companies that are competitive is because they really don't talk about any of the benefits of why they're better. I see lots of information. It looks like they're really, really focused on getting you guys the information, which is awesome. I like that. But then there's no benefit besides the information. If you want to go there and just see some data and some information on buying home insurance, what you need to get home insurance, what you need to get a mortgage, what's your checklist for this, that's really cool stuff to look at on their website. But at the end of the day, they don't like insert their ad value in here. So they're saying, okay, well, here's the checklist. Here's what you need. They don't say the what you need and they don't give you recommendations. Also, I'm in Michigan and it doesn't look like they insure Michigan. So I tried to do their checklist of determining my home value and it doesn't work. So they only do it in the states they're in. That's fine. But if you're going to be kind of focused on that, it would be nice to have the rest of that uh, that information. But if you go through it, it's pretty basic. They do point to getting the quote. That's what every website does. There's nothing special about it. Not to put them down, I don't see any major problems with it. I just don't see anything that's great about it. They really talk about coverages. They really talk about discounts. They have this little calculator here where you can go here and put your zip code in. And when I plug mine in, it just takes me to a page that says get a quote. And then I click get a quote and it's just gonna take me to a place I can fill out a quote. It would be nicer if I could just go here and it would just tell me the information without making me talk to somebody. They do a really good job as far as outlining their discount. They go over the discounts like I mentioned in my ultimate guide to home insurance. There's popular discounts, the bundle and save, smart home discount, age of the home, obviously the newer it is the better, newer roof, stuff like that. Home purchase discount, savvy habits and save. They do do a discount that really makes sense because they do offer a loyalty discount. And that's fairly rare with companies nowadays where the longer you've been with them, they give you a small discount for. They don't really mention what the discount is, but it's just nice that they have it. Going back in, they talk about smart home, what makes it energy efficient, water efficient, all that stuff. Uh, at the end of the day, you either have it or you don't. You're not going to like buy the, the items because it costs more to have the stuff than it does to get the discount on your insurance. They go over the deductibles, that's pretty cool. It's kind of going into their facts section where they talk about different things, lower deductibles, higher deductibles. Um, and I go over that in the in the ultimate guide to home insurance where it does make sense to have a larger deductible if you need to make the payment, right? I'd rather have you have a larger deductible than have lower coverage. That's just a given. What I'll do is I'll put in the comments below a lot of the discounts that they talk about. And if I see any benefits that they have over someone else, I'm gonna put that in the description below. That way you guys can see the main differences between them. I also wanna dig into the reviews. So here's something that really caught my eye. So if we go to Google and we look these guys up, right? We type in American Family Insurance and we go to reviews. So American Family Insurance reviews there's kind of a lie going on here and you guys need to be aware of this so the first thing that pops up is nerd wallet and i don't want to say nerd wallet's wrong but they're wrong <laughs> uh, they only have four reviews so be very careful whenever you see a company they're only showing four reviews and what they're saying is they go all over this whole thing and they go about it the the different terms and all that and their jd power but you really gotta dig further into that. Here's all the states that it looks like they say they're insuring. If you dig into it, so let's, for example, they talk about how JD Power rated them really well in 2018, but if you really look into JD Power, which we'll actually bring up here in a moment, they're talking about renter's insurance because they were the top, one of the top companies for renter's insurance, but not auto and not home. So you gotta be very specific on how some of these companies are leading you to believe I'm not saying the reviews are wrong because I'm not going to dig into their data, but it doesn't seem like it's correct. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit further, you're going to get a lot of consumer affairs. They say best and worst of American family. Here's an 86 review. So I've actually pulled those up here. This one was the Nerd Wallet. This one is Yelp. I personally don't really go by Yelp because they're just people that are nearby. They're either angry, although this one has 26 reviews. It looks like they only gave them like one and a half stars. But once again, uh, out of these reviews, there's a lot of complaints. Now with insurance, you got to take a little bit of a grain of salt because these people 
go online to complain with insurance. That's just a common thing. So getting a five star is nearly impossible. If you have four stars, that's incredible. So anything below the three and a half star mark, now it's starting to question. So what I did is I went onto a couple of these, I started looking at them and I started sorting them. For example, this one here, this wallet hub gave them a 4.0 out of 107 reviews. That's incredible, right? That's great. The problem is if you organize them by the most recent ones, there's a lot of one star reviews recently. So let's just give you an example. So this one was October 4th, one star. This one was September 2nd, one star. This one was September 2nd, one star. May 10th, one star. They got a really good one here, March 8th. So not only did they give us great rates, uh, we have a Mustang convertible, you know it can be spendy. They have great personal service and I absolutely love our agent. The company really knows how to make a customer feel value. Great, that's more of a review on the agent. So then March 1st, 2019, one star. January of 19, one star. So if you're looking at these recent ones, that kind of scares me a little bit. And that's what I found on just about all of these websites is they are getting really low reviews lately, which is kind of confusing because I don't think they've changed anything. I didn't see anything online where they said that they revamped anything, but it looks like as far as the auto and the home claims go, they're being very particular on paying claims. I do, before I end the video, want to point out one thing that I did notice. I don't wanna make it sound like they're, they're a bad company at all. Just to show you kind of the, the JD Power ratings, and so this is the rankings that they have. If we organize it by overall satisfaction, they are actually up in a top group here. So they're under Safeco and AAA and Amica and all these guys. So they're a lot better according to JD Powers than, uh, than Geico and State Farm and Hartford and all these guys. So they are doing well in that aspect. The only thing that you gotta be careful is JD Power does not rate claims. Like I said, what we saw online, there are the issue of the claims but that can affect overall satisfaction. With that being said, I don't know where the data is coming from from JD Power, whether they're getting that from the company and the company's doing that and tweaking it, or if it's something that they're going out and getting their own reviews. That way you guys are aware, you're mindful of it, that they're not necessarily listed as a bad company, they're just not anything that seems spectacular. So is American Family the right one for you? I don't know. I don't know. I I personally, I wish I could do a quote because they won't let me do a Michigan one, but I don't see anything specific that stands out. They're just an average company. At the end of the day, when you compare them to the rest, if they give me a good deal and I'm the type of guy that doesn't really file claims, then yeah, that might be the route to go. But if you're looking for someone that's not going to nitpick things as much, it doesn't look like they're the best route. That was one of the largest complaints I saw was not only people were complaining about not being at fault in accidents, so they had people that hit them, they weren't at fault, there was already admitted fault, and they still had trouble getting the claims weeks later, which is crazy. It should be like days. And then also a few of them were about roofs, so like neighbors had roofs that were damaged just as much as theirs were, and they're complaining that uh, they were, they're not covering the roof or matching the shingles, things like that. Those are additional coverages that your higher end companies, like you've got AAA and Citizens and Safeco and those guys, uh, those are companies that I've worked with and actually my company works with them and they're really good about doing that. And that's what separates some of those higher end companies from the rest is they're willing to pay those extra claims because they, one, want that satisfied customer. They want you for 30 years. And then two, they wanna make sure that they're doing everything that they can to cover you because that's really the point of it. A lot of people think they're trying to scam you and back out, but in all honesty, you are the one that has to choose the coverages. So if you don't pick the right ones, then you're not gonna get the right coverage. In a lot of these cases, I think what happened was the agent didn't offer matching shingles or they didn't offer full replacement cost on the roof. So they're not getting that full value of the insurance. They may have done it just to save some money, but you really gotta know what you're looking for. If you guys are interested in learning more about the different coverages you need to have for home insurance, I'm gonna put a link to that video in here as well. And then also, if you're interested in getting a quote with multiple companies, uh, so I actually work with a company that has 17 different carriers in our state. Uh, we insure 21 different states, so I'll put a link to that below. Otherwise, if you found value out of it, thumbs it up, share it with anyone that you know. Like I said, I don't see anything majorly wrong with the company, but I don't see anything that really tweaks me either way. If you're with them, definitely leave a comment below. 
let me know. Am I wrong? Am I right? Have you had a really good experience with them? Is there a coverage that you notice that they are offering you that no one else does? That would be great to share. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.